With the unemployment rate currently at 6% and corporate layoffs continuing, it may be strange to hear that some workers can have their pick of almost any job. Companies are signing up to participate in job fairs looking for the right employee with the right clearance, security clearance. Bradford Rand heads Tech Expo Top Secret, which organizes these job fairs, and he joins us as our Maverick of the Morning. Great to talk to you this morning. Thank you. All right, let's, nice to be here. let's explain exactly this security clearance. If I have this, what kind of job can I get? You can almost write your ticket in today's environment. Um, you can get a job in, in IT, in engineering, in operations, in a whole cross-section of areas. Okay, what is the security clearance, though? How do I get that? How do you get that? Well, uh, there's a few different ways. You can get one by working for a defense contractor, like a Lockheed Martin, a Boeing, a Raytheon, a Northrop Grumman. And then they can grant you security clearance after doing a background check on you. Or you could join the military. Mr. Rand, this is Ben Hawk. In terms of, you know, we know we have a huge defense budget in the United States. In terms of transformation of, the, of this defense budget, what do you see to be the, the most attractive areas for these potential job seekers? In engineering, especially, as well as, uh, believe it or not, information technology. At this point, when we look at the hiring in these fields, does this look to be a long-term trend? I would say at least for the next three to five years, as the defense budget has been raised uh, over that course of time, it seems as though um, there's going to be a lot of opportunities for those types of people as long as they have active security clearance. And what about the IT industry in general? Is it specific, specifically dealing with the government that you're seeing these IT jobs or broadening out beyond that? It's actually, it covers telecommunications, engineering, uh, as well as defense. It's not, it's not all about the military. Mr. Rand, this is Ben Hawk again. In terms of the top secret clearances, can we take the strength and interest in, in that type of security clearance and looking for workers with that clearance to mean that these companies are going to be hiring workers and others without these security clearances? Well, they're going to look for uh, potential candidates that have active security clearance because it, it, it does cost a fortune to give uh, a potential employee uh, a clearance um, and it takes a long time as well. It could take anywhere from six months to two years and sometimes cost as much as $100,000 to actually clear a potential employee. So if they can interview a potential employee that actually has active security clearance, uh, that person is on the top of the list. So it's interesting, some of the companies involved in the latest expo coming up this week, Boeing, Verizon, Lucent, and AT&T, these are companies that have had massive layoffs over the last yes. couple of years. Wouldn't it make more sense to retrain some of their employees rather than go through the expense of finding new ones to hire? Well, actually the expense of of hiring someone that has active clearance is, is marginal com compared to actually getting a, one of their own employees and then and then spending up to, as I said, up to almost $100,000 to clear that person, depending upon the level of clearance. And it may take a year or two to get that person cleared. So if they can find someone that has an active security clearance, that has the necessary skill sets and experience, they're going to grab that person. Branford Rand, Tech Expo, top secret. Good to talk to you this morning. Thanks. Thank you very much. Markets